Exactly what the internet is saying. Zombies everywhere. No place is safe. It's like people thought this isn't what would happen. I could have told you that. I have a plan. Please, since when have any of your plans ever worked? If you have an idea, then let's hear it, Mrs. Bruce Campbell. Well, if he was here, we wouldn't be having this problem right now. We'd be sawing through zombies all day long. Except we don't have a chainsaw or a double barrel shotgun. What we have is a frying pan, a baseball bat, a broken car, and a week's worth of supplies. Yeah, about that. Holy, you forgot? I was gonna go after lunch. So how much food do we have? Um, breakfast for dinner? Ah. Well, I guess we can't stay here. Thanks for the deduction, Sherlock. Ready to hear my idea now? Do I have a choice? Here's the plan. We run down to the garage and fix my car using YouTube videos for guidance. I'll do the nitty gritty work while you fend off the zombie hordes. Then we get out of town, find Leah. Then drive like there's no tomorrow up to Reno. There we'll meet up with my buddy Sky and the party he's bound to have made. Set up a base. And then wait out the zombie infestation from a casino penthouse. That's your star plan? Elementary, my dear Watson. Why, Leah? Why not? Because she dumped your sorry butt over a week ago. That was before the zombies attacked. Besides, I still love her. And I know she'll love me if I manage to save her. Lame. Well, excuse me for not wanting to be alone. Especially now that the world is ending. <laughs> I'm not gonna be alone. I'm sure there's a Daryl Dixon roaming the world somewhere, waiting to find me. Yeah. Sure. Put all your cards on an imaginary, crossbow-wielding, chopper-driving redneck. They're multiplying pretty fast. Not surprising. This is a pretty big building. Lots of tenants. Hello? Leah? Holy cow, you're okay! Shh! Sorry. That was Michelle reminding me there was a ton of them right outside the door. God, it's good to hear your voice. Ask about her. Hang on, Leah. What? Don't babble about you. Ask about her. If you want her back, make it about her. Hey, Leah? Yeah, how are things on your end? You're heading out? Whoa, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you come get me and Michelle? 
We're pinned down in our building. There's tons of them right outside the door. We can't get out. My car's broken. I told you that weeks ago. I didn't mean it when I said that. You were breaking up with me. No, no, Leah, please, don't go. Mention the blouse. What? The blouse you bought. The, you know, frilly thing at the chest. That frilly thing? If you want her back, say it looked right on her. Why? Because I know her. I really like that blouse you got. No, really, it, um, uh, really made your eyes pop. You will? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we can be ready in 15 minutes. All right, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Told you it would work. information, I was planning on selling these at a later date. Please stay here. Fine, then you can't bring your Tiger Army CDs. We need something to listen to in the car. And what's better than the sultry sound of Nick 13's voice? And I need something to read in my spare time. The comics come with. We don't have time for this. have in reserve. We have reserves? Yeah, right above the sink. Yeah, like I said, we have reserves. Seriously? Ah! Ah! Well, nobody was eating them, and I thought they would go bad eventually. Oh my. Hello? Hey, Leah. Wait, what? All right, we'll come to you. Don't worry about it, we'll come to you. What? They're pinned at the corner. They're as close as they can get, but we have to go to them. Then what are we waiting for? For a sister. You're okay. Idiot. All right, on the count of three. Ready? <laughs> 